Hi guys, it's me, Happily Naomi, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you are a new person, welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind of sticking with me for a while, thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> All right, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I am, okay, so this is the palette that just keeps selling out. I just, every single time, like, you can never find it in stock. They're always giving restock dates, and it just sells out like hotcakes. And I finally was able to pick up a palette for myself and figure out why that is so this was ColourPop's I think like first like 16 color eyeshadow palette and at $16 like you can't beat that so the palette is called yes please but like the cover says cute AF um, I don't really know why it says that it's a little confusing but the colors inside are so pretty. Oh my god. So these are the colors up close and personal. And you guys, these colors are so amazing. And I'm going to be swatching them on my skin tone so you can see what they look like on a darker complexion. Because I don't know. I mean, I know that there are swatches on darker complexions. Just not a lot of them. And I wanted to add my own swatches to the mix. So today I'm going to be providing swatches for you guys and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a palette playtime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play with this ColourPop Yes Please palette. Alright, so I already have my face done and I just really wanted to focus this uh, video on just the palette. So. Uh, if you want to know what I used on my face, I'll link that in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get started. I put my head. How you feeling? All right. Um. So let's see. All right, so the first color that I'm gonna go into is this color right here, and this is French Kiss. And I'm gonna be putting that into my crease. And I'm gonna be using a Morphe M433 brush. So I went a little bit dark in the crease, and that's fine, I'm gonna fix it a little bit. So I'm going to be taking this shade here. I'm gonna be taking this shade here. This is Champs. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of this shade here. This is GNO. And I'm going to be putting that into my crease as well. So next I'm going to be I'm going to be taking this shade here and this is the shade bling. I'm going to sweep that all over the lid and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I think it's just like a regular eyeshadow brush. It doesn't really have a name. But I'm going to sweep that all over the lid. I'm not really sure if my camera is picking it up or not, but like in person, like this is such a pretty coppery color and it's perfect, perfect for fall. So this is a really exciting palette and a really exciting color. I really like that. Okay, so going back into the palette and using my Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to go back into the first shade that we used, French Kiss, and I'm going to buff out any sort of harsh lines.
And honestly, you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. So if this looks a little janky, I'm so sorry. Okay, so next I'm going to take this smudge brush from e.l.f. And I think I'm going to go into both French Kiss and GNO. I really hope I'm getting the names right because, like, it's kind of the names are all on the back, but I don't know if it's like coinciding like this or like front on. So it's a little confusing. So, yeah, taking the smudge brush and I'm going to dip it into GNO and French Kiss and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. For an inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking this shade here, and this is in the shade Butter Cake, or, yeah, Butter Cake. I'm just going to put that, just dab a little bit of that with my Morphe M321 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that. I'm just going to dab it into the inner corner. And then, just to add a little bit extra, I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to go in to this shade here. This is the shade Chauffeur, and I'm going to take my finger, I'm just going to pop that in the middle of my lid. So this is all that we're doing for the eyeshadow look. I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara, and then I will be back with some final thoughts. Alright, so here is the final look. I didn't put anything on my lips. Maybe I should have. Hmm, what do I have around me? Okay, I'm going to use... I'm just going to put this Tan Lines Lip Topper on. It's from Jouer. Adds a little bit of oomph to this. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final look. I really like the eyeshadow. Like, it's not bad. Like, this... I look is way out of my comfort zone, so I'm kind of, kind of pleased with myself. I think I did a pretty good job. All right, so this palette, would I recommend it? Yeah, why not? It's $16. You get, is it $16? Yeah, you get 12 shades for $16. It's a fun palette. Everybody has been comparing it to the Natasha Denona palette, which is an arm and a leg. So if you don't want to be spending an arm and a leg out here in these streets, then why not get this palette? However, because this palette is always selling out, you may want to like be there when it restocks like right at the time that ColourPop says it's going to restock. Just going to throw that out there. All right, yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to provide some swatches for you guys for this, and yeah. Alright, you guys, so that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are, you guys are real. You guys are the coolest, okay? <laughs> Alright, so if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead Subscribe, you know you want to. I am going to start posting more consistently, and I feel like you're going to want to watch all of those videos, so click that subscribe button below. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to choose your happy, something that positively reinforces your life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mm -mm.